all right how are you doing today today i'll be showing you in yet another video how to use canva to design quite a couple of things but let's go to the home page first let's see how to use canva to design let's say book covers so it's going to be a quick one so we're seeing book cover right click on book cover in your search these are templates of amazing book covers you can do it for your book you can do it for the book of others but they'll just give you an insight into things you can do these are free designs you can use for yourself and for other people and you can even make money doing these for people you can even showcase yourself as a freelancer in um, fiber upwork and the rest and you can just do a whole lot of things with this thing so i'm just showing you all the templates you can use let's just pick one to use as an example okay all right let me just pick one simple one all right boom Okay, while waiting for that to load, let's load the other one. There's book cover. Let me show you another one called um, table of contents. All right, boom. So I have that loading table of contents. Amazing, amazing table of contents to 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 blow your your your, your reader's mind and to help your presentations or other things you do and to, just to guide your creative direction. All right. So these are table of contents you can explore. All right. Okay, we seen here so let me just pick one it's a nice simple one you know just table of content that is interactive that is nice <laughs> all right you also have that then let me add one more so we can add it like we've done book cover magazine covers see magazine cover boom okay so while we have all that loading eh? where's my book cover okay let's go okay this is my book cover right this is my and uh, this should be magazine cover so let me just do uh, what was the second one we did we did book cover magazine cover with the table of content right yeah table of contents okay so we just pick anyone from there so i have all of them loading at the same time so table of contents the uh, different ones i forgot the one i picked earlier on but i can just pick anyone to use all right Something really nice, something really interesting, something really interactive. It's not. It, it may not be your conventional styles, but they're pretty creative and they push your creativity higher. Okay, well that's table of content. Oh, right. So let's just go to our book covers. You see, you see, have other templates here that you can use. You see, different templates you can use. All right, you can explore them and use them to. Uh, you know however you want to use them you can always change the background to your own pictures and all that but they just give you an idea so let me say I just want to use this one horror story this looks horror go if you dare whatever I could just just see me see so read let's say read and scare you <laughs> all right so I yeah, want to do it I'm just putting your legs with this read and scare you and call it the mist with black let me see the red the red black curse whatever <laughs> how that is the foggy bit go blah blah okay i'm writing many plenty let me i can take that out all right the red black curse read and scare you by see i'm just playing around by me you All right <laughs> i'm just giving a clue like that this is a book cover you know if you don't want this background you can remove the background delete and bring whatever background you want all right but let me just stay with this this just give you creative direction to what you want to do all right uh if i don't like this cover you can explore all the covers you see they, they even journal them you see like food journal novel book cover uh, recipe book cover adventure book cover architecture illustration book cover so different templates to just pour your creativity all right look at this one business book cover this is nice for those of you that write business books okay i just okay let me replace it okay see you see it's just showing us just a template but we can just tweak it to whatever we want to tweak it to this uh, autobiography see i'm just showing you different templates and just just amazing amazing things you can do with this so as you explore them you can explore your creativity and once you're done with your editing and other stuff like that you change the name remove whatever you need to remove all you have to do just download 
PDF standard, it can be PDF print if you want to print it out, it can be PNG if you want to save it as a picture or download. And your book cover is set. You can send it to your client, send it to the person. And sometimes when you even or one opinion, you can do three different book covers of the same thing and put it on social media and say, oh, this is what, um, the, what's your opinion and all that. You're indirectly announcing yourself as a book cover designer, all right? You can also do that. Let's go to table of content. Table of content. Oh, no, let me take that. Um, table of content, okay? Let me make it a little bigger. Oh, sorry. Okay? So, table of content, let me make it bigger so we can see more. Make it bigger, let me see more. Right, so you see, content, at least run or whatever you're doing. And I say I don't want that. So, so these are uh, the different pages and all that. You see, you can bring in pictures. You know, that's a frame, whatever you want. So it's content, but this is dynamic. It's not your normal content. This content will usually do well for a magazine or stuff like that. You can change all these. See, whatever I can click here, you can change. Pa 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 pa. Whatever I can click here, you can change. Da 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 da. You see, you can change the heading, but it just gives you this creative direction. Look at this. This is simply nice and classy. All right, it makes you look like one pro designer. <laughs> look at it. You see, you see, you can play a September 2015 issue. You can change to whatever you want to do. December, blah 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 issue. Email website and all that. All right, you can change all these chapters. You can even put um, let me see zero one. Zero two. So if it's on pages, all right, or let me say page ten, page fifteen, and all that. Of course, the book you're doing this for the magazine where they have its pages, but maybe you're highlighting the big things in the pages to capture their attention. So it just in just one page, you're highlighting so many things that they can see and can make them want to go in. Page forty like that. So this is not your regular table of content, but it's so creative, it's so nice. But then you can always um, uh, play around this. Okay, all right. Okay, this is another table of content that we picked. You see, maybe chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four. You can just do all that. So, however you want to do it, you can always um, play around it. If you want the regular one, okay, see, so there's some regulars here. See, yearbook. So, principal's message, you know, the page is coming before even the title like that. It's just so creative. Let's see this. Okay, table of content. All right, so showing all that. So, just however you want it. You can just play around. Table of content. These are simpler ones. Table of content. So I'm just showing these templates that you can play around, walk around, table of content. You can see page one, page five, page twelve, you know, different things like that. It's just table of content. So you can just see. Not your regular page of table of content. You see? This came pass for a magazine and stuff like that. Even for your textbook, your school book. They're doing a school assignment, school project. You can put a picture of your school here, you know, with something, maybe the logo of your school and table of content. Something really creative to add some spice and fun to it, all right? So when you're done, as usual, go to your downloads, save it as PDF or PNG. If you want to bring it into maybe a Microsoft Word document, save it as a, as a picture and bring it in. All right, that's table of content. And let's play around with uh, magazine covers. Okay. So this is like a magazine cover. So I'm just playing now. Now it's taking you a whole, this template is taking you on a whole journey, right? So what is the journey like? This is a magazine cover. Let me make it some five, so you see. So look at it, it's telling you, showing you all these you can edit, all these you can edit, all these you can edit. Now I can go to add page. So beyond just the cover, I'm bringing this in. This is like a table of content in the same magazine. Let me see, add page. I'm bringing this in, maybe my first work, five easy ways. These are content. I can do an entire magazine, even just behind the cover, behind the, beyond the cover, and do write-ups. Boom. Maybe I want to do something like this again. I can duplicate. Oh, no, no. I can duplicate this page so that I can form the next page. Let's say duplicate. So it forms the next page. And maybe I don't want this picture. I can take it out. I can even take what is out and bring in maybe my fonts. Maybe roll this up. Maybe roll this up and just keep right. I have a blank page. I can do whatever I want to do. I can bring in pictures. Uh, I can bring in pictures. So whatever picture maybe I'm bringing in, I can bring in pictures. However, I want to do it. All right. You know, like we see all these magazines, right? You see, you can do an entire magazine with Canva. What the heck? All right. 
and I just show